Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and today I want to show you how to create a document on Canva that uh, doesn't require you to specify a text box or even a size, and it can just, you know, take your content and it will overflow. It will basically keep going and going. And when you download it, you can download it in a specific in a in a PDF format and it will automatically resize that document in um, your preferred size um, and turn it into a PDF. But when you're designing, you don't have to worry about um, giving multiple text boxes because the problem with Canva sometimes is that when you're creating especially a document, you have like a, a page size, right? And then you create a text box and you don't really know how long the text box, um, how much text is uh, the text box is going to have, and then it can be very annoying. So the way to, sh uh, you know, uh, I let me just show you what it is because it's difficult to explain. So let me um, start a design, and I want U.S. letter. So this is the one that I use uh, typically, and here I have some worm epsom ipsum text and I will copy all of that. Let's say that I have a document I need to fit all of those texts so I will just copy it and then going back to Canva I will create a text box by typing the T key in my on my uh, keyboard give it a width make it left aligned and then I will just uh, you know paste the whole thing and see what happens it like it overflows but our page size is page size is small so what you can do is you can kind of come back here and try to like um, take some of that off like so and not realize exactly what would look good you kind of eyeballing it but that's fine and then you stop right there Maybe you change the text a bit, you know, give it a different font size, um, like so. And then right away you realize that you have way more space than you thought was possible. Then you have to like copy and paste your text again um, from here, like so. And there's still some overflow. Basically, it's very annoying. So. Instead of doing this, what we can do is let's go back to our home page. Let's click create a design letter once more. And instead of choosing the US letter, here's the one that you want to start with the letter responsive. Basically, it auto sizes. So you click that and it creates a new design. And here you can paste the whole thing. Oops, sorry. Um, you don't want H1 or H2, basically. Okay, so you can kind of uh, click that a couple of times to go back to the uh, paragraph mode, and then you paste the whole thing. And then, you know, you don't have to worry about how long the document is or where the text box is or anything like that. You can just keep pasting as many times as you want your copy and it will just be a really long document. And then when you're downloading it, you can just go and, you know, choose your size. So I'm going to choose, you can choose from a four or letter or legal or a three. So I will choose letter and then I will choose PDF standard is fine or docx if you want to save in the Microsoft Word document format. I will choose PDF standard, that's fine. And then I will just download. And let me show you that when it downloads, it downloads with multiple pages. So that is actually a really useful way to create documents that are text heavy because then the design process becomes that much smoother. Um, but the problem with this is that it really works when you have a lot of text-based document. If you have like any design, like fancy design going, like you want text wrapping around photos and whatnot, then it becomes a little cumbersome once again. 
and then you will have to go back to the you know the previous for uh, previous way of doing things where you just kind of have to guess how much text is going to cover and blah 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 but if you have a text-based document primarily text-based um, text heavy and you don't want to you know you don't have a lot of fancy design going on then you can choose the responsive letter or responsive document and then just paste all of your text uh, all of your text and just download it as whatever size you want and that's a better way to kind of um, make your work a process a lot faster than it would have been otherwise so that's today's video um, that's it bye